And welcome back to What If Naruto Had a Zombokto, the Minazuki Edition, Part 10. I cannot confirm if this is going to be the last one we do, but it does. based on where we are in the story, it may very well be the last one we do. And then the new one will start Sunday. So, not, so we left off with Naruto and uh, Killer B confronting Itachi and Nagato. And remember, Itachi can't... You can't use Naruto to free himself from the Genji, so he's actually coming at them at full force. And admittedly, no Genjutsu that Tachi's going to throw at them is actually going to do anything, because Killer B and Naruto are both capable of counteracting that. Naruto, unfortunately, he, uh, he even goes Bankai with Killer B putting on his Chakra Cloak to avoid, you know, getting hit by uh, Minazuki's Acid. It's not even doing anything, because they're technically not organic material anymore, so... Really, uh, I mean, yeah, I could still use it, like, as a bladed whip, whatever, but Naruto quickly realizes, like, I've got to just reseal Minazuki and just use what I got. So, um, uh, so they're fighting, it gets down to a uh, Killer B versus uh, Itachi, who's starting to throw out, like, Sus Susano, things along those lines, um, and it's, it's just, they're being pushed back, like, because Itachi is actually fighting them, they're getting pushed back. Now, it, it, you know, Itachi's like, it's a shame. I wish I wish I hadn't come to this. Uh, I wish I could stop this, but unfortunately, you're not the one that can uh, prevent that from hap uh, prevent this from happening. And as Itachi is about to go in for another attack, all of a sudden he just gets hit by a, uh, something in his chest, just, and he looks down. And the um, the other ten says can't feel pain, but he can still they can still feel something that happens to him, and just looks as it. Ah, I was hoping you'd show up, little brother. And there's Sasuke standing right there. Now, why is Sasuke there? Well, no, once in it, let me, re let me re uh, rephrase that sentence where it was going. Sasuke was helping on the front line with, like, against the Kage and the Tenseis, all that. He even is probably actually very instrumental in defeating the Mizukage. He's got the Sharingan, Kasipur, Genjutsu. Um, but once you get high enough in terms of, like, Shinobi levels, you can actually sense Chakra. I mean, if you're not, if you're a sensor, that's obvious you can sense Chakra. But generally speaking, you can usually get a good set, grasp of how to sense chakra. Um, yeah, kind of like how in Bleach you can sense spiritual pressure kind of stuff. Uh, and I think, and it's Sasuke. So I think he has kind of an innate uh, instinct to be able to sense his brother. So, you know, Sasuke just it can't be. And what he does basically is just go, boom, shadow clone jutsu. And the people there is like, wait, you can do shadow clone? It's like, yeah, I can't spam it like Naruto can, but, uh, but I can still make a clone when I need to. And so as I stay here and keep uh, and keep aiding the front lines, you know, nods and just does its own thing, and Sasuke heads off. And I honestly, we never, we know for a fact Sasuke learned Shadow Clone Jutsu. In Boruto, he trains, uh, he shows Bor that off to Boruto. Um, so the question really is, when did he learn Shadow Clone Jutsu? My guess is actually, what, well, he probably knew it pretty early on. He probably even knew it in part one. Because, you know, you can see, copy any jutsu you see. Well, he's seen Naruto do that plenty of times. It's just he couldn't spam it like Naruto could, or even really use it to the same extent, because he just didn't have those kind of reserves. Granted, he has a very large chakra reserve, especially once we get into ship it in Boruto eras, but he just doesn't have Naruto-level reserves. Uh, so, but anyway, he adds off, and so he's there. The real Sasuke is there confronting Itachi. He's like, uh... I thought I put you in the ground, Tachi, but I should have known we'd be seeing each other again when I knew th when they said the Edo Tensei was being used. Indeed, Sasuke, it's good to see you again, little brother. I'm I must admit, despite our despite how we're meeting, I'm very proud of how uh, how you've grown. But uh, but that's neither here or there. There's something that needs to be done to end this war. And as you know, it's like I am Sasuke is just like I don't know what you're talking about. He's got his sharing all right, but as he's got gets his sharing all right, he's just going <clears throat> and the crow comes out. And it does that. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the technique again. Um, but it does shoot. So he's the technique of, you know, mind control. And it basically releases the control over there at the Tensei. All the way over where the, like, the controllers of this are. Um, Sas, um, Orochimaru and uh, Kabuto. They're both like, what? Um, Itachi's on a whole nother level. Now, why would this be the case as opposed to Naruto happening? Well, obviously, without Nar without Sasuke going... Rogue and Itachi wanting like a backup plan for that. There's no reason that Naruto, oh, excuse me, mm, that Naruto would have well, he he instilled the Genjutsu in Nar Naruto. But I don't think he, I mean he could be okay with it having the Genjutsu just l die with him. 
but actually I think he might want it just as a um as a uh, backup plan like a because he doesn't trust Obito as far as they can throw him. So as a backup backup plan and he knows Orochimaru's still out there and he knows that he knows the Edo Tensei as well as you know anything else. So I think as like a serious backup plan um you know he would instill in Sasuke just to be safe. And if nothing else, he'll never activate with Sasuke, because, you know, even if for some reason Sa- Orochimaru took Sasuke's body, not that he could at this point, he he wouldn't know that the Genjutsu is there. Uh, so I think it's kind of like that real, real, like, backup, backup, backup plan. Like, Itachi, when you really look at it, was, like, really good at, like, backup planning. Anyway, though, he frees himself, and he said, Sasuke, I'm no, I'm no longer the, under the Edo Tensei's control. And, you know, Sasuke and him... They kind of square off a little bit, but the Nagato is still throwing out attacks. They ultimately seal Nagato, though. They stop him. And, uh, you know, it's Sasuke, uh, Naruto, Itachi, and Killer B kind of... Not Naruto. I said, I, no, I said Naruto. I was worried I said Nagato. I kind of collab for a little bit and then basically go to the front lines, Naruto. We'll, uh, B, Naruto, go to the front lines. Me and Sasuke will take care of this. And so they basically, you know, on their way, they kind of talk and Itachi does reveal what was ultimately going to happen because at this point Sasuke doesn't know what was going to ha- what about the Ch- uh, Chia massacre and the actual reason behind it uh, about why he did it uh, because and um, Itachi realizes basically says like uh, we can talk we can we should talk on the way and he basically explains why he actually did it and it's because yeah, and uh, and it's because he was he was ordered to uh, he he loved his village you know he, he loved the village and he didn't want to see a war start and like innocent bloodshed not just his family but for other people as well and he's Itachi is actually a pacifist as we know um and ultimately this this angers Sasuke I think so, but because he's not so motivated by his vengeance anymore because he didn't have the curse mark influence in this version I think while he's angry and he's angry at the village he's definitely gonna want some explanations he isn't. He isn't like I'm going to destroy the village. It's like he's angry. He can he can actually see where Itachi's coming from to some degree, but at the same time, you know, it's like you took mom and dad from me. I mean, you could have at least spared mom. <laughs> uh, but no, from what we can tell, Makoto was also involved with the massacre. So or the the coup. So no, can't uh, sadly no. Uh, and you know, so they have that conversation, and then they go, and ultimately they are confronting Orochimaru and Kabuto. Uh, Tachi, I must admit, I am impressed that you were able to, uh, that you were able to break free of, uh, Edo Tensei. You really, I really do regret not taking your eyes, but you've brought me Sasuke's, and Sasuke's eyes have grown so strong. Uh, I, I can only just imagine how, uh, how great having your body will be, Sasuke. And, uh, yeah, I was like, undo the jutsu. I'm afraid I only, it'll only undo, I'll only undo the jutsu. Or I can only undo the jutsu if I will it. And with Sasuke and Kabuto helping me, there's two individuals you must... Uh, or the two of us must undo it together. And it's like, and unfortunately... And Kabuto, admittedly, isn't, like, his Naruto strength. Oh, sorry, his Naruto strength. What am I talking about? His, um, his merged with Orochimaru's DNA strength. But I think he definitely has taken a little bit uh, from, uh, like, say, uh, Suigetsu and Karin, who are still very much sealed away. So he does gain kind of like the liquid body and um, the liquid body and a little bit of the Uzumaki stuff. So he's a bit more amped up. And I mean, it's like it's it's pretty much like a reward for like, um, like you know, serving Rochimaru so well. And so they square off and Itachi, uh, Itachi, I think, actually goes after Orochimaru. Naruto goes after Kabuto. And honestly, Kabuto could not take on uh, in, uh, Sasuke on his own but uh you know through some crafty tactics they are like trying to tag team each other throwing out the snakes this uh, you know he throws out the sword ultimately though um ultimately though it, it's not looking good for Orochimaru and, and um Kabuto because those two are just far stronger and ultimately uh they he gets trapped in um not Aizanagi Aizanami so uh, I think at least Orochimaru gets trapped in Aizanami uh, Nar- uh, Kabuto, um, uh, Kabuto, unfortunately, is all, is trapped in the Genjutsu as well, just not in the same Genjutsu. And so, they are, they are able to release the Jutsu. Now, cut over to, 
where you know Naruto is on the front lines, where Madara comes out and you know throws the giant uh, meteorite and meteors down. Onoki stops it, and then he basically stops himself from being um, uh, from being. Uh, think words here. He stops himself from being sealed away, or um, he stops the the, the Tensei stops. He stops himself from the, being let back into the afterlife. That was the word I was trying to say. Um, so uh, you get now a lot of the uh, some of the similar stuff that was going on. Uh, where uh, Obito is on the battlefield, he confronts Naruto and um, Killer B. You have the six uh, his uh, his paths of pain. Um, sorry, I'm kind of blanking a little bit. There, there's South Park's on in the background. I'm trying not to uh, focus on that too much. Uh, but yeah, there, a lot of that goes the same. Uh, Obito does have to watch out for Naruto's acid. Uh, ultimately, Kakashi and Guy come in, do their thing. Kurama ultimately um, gives him, you know, access to his full power. So a lot of it goes the same. In fact, a lot of it's pretty much dead on the same. That, that's the thing here. Up until this point, nothing overly changes um, until Sas until Madara shows up on the field. Uh, now here you don't have the Kage showing up to, you know, help out. So that actually poses a problem to the story. Without the four Ka original Hokages coming up, or, or being there to aid, because you had Minato and uh, Tobirama using the Flying Thunder God, Hashirama and the third, are they able to, you know, keep them at bay, fight on, all that? Well, luckily they never stole Tenzo. So the uh, army for um, in Yamato. So the army of the White Zetsus, including uh, the White Zetsu who was basically wrapped around Tenzo, is just not as effective here. So they do have that advantage. And thinking on what the Kages actually did, the only Kages that actually mattered in that entire scenario were were Minato and um, and. Hashi and uh, uh, Tobirama. Even Hashirama, when you really break it down, didn't matter that much uh, in the in the grand scheme of things. He got he fought um, Madara, sure, and they were fighting on even keel, but they ultimately it didn't matter. Uh, he put the he put the uh, chakra rods in him. Put your chakra rod, it blew up in Manato's arms. Um, the third got his entire upper torso blown off. So. Yeah, he was able to, like, stall, like, the souped-up Zetsu, but the third actually didn't really do much. So I actually think they would be able to compensate for not having the Kages there. Unfortunately, I think Neji still dies. I think there's that. I think um, the few Kage, the few Sound 4 members that are remaining will end up getting killed as well uh, on the battlefield as well, which would have been uh, Sakan, Ukon, and... Uh, Tayuya, I think they're just going to end up dying anyway in battle. Uh, and then and Dedera is still around, but ultimately he's probably going to just get axed off in combat as well. Which brings us now really to the overall climax of the fight, where, you know, Obito is, you know, takes what bit of the ten tails that he can, or creates the creates a pseudo six paths for him. And him and Sasuke and Naruto go toe to toe. They it's the our Susano armored uh, Kurama, which was which was always a badass thing to see. Um, and uh, ultimately they lose. Ultimately they win. The Zetsu come. Uh, they you know Obito is forced to resurrect Madara. The Tail Beast get uh, released. He comes in. Naruto and Sasuke again are struggling against this new Madara. However. There is one catch in that Naruto still has, and again, once again, goes, and now he's in chakra form, Bankai Minuzuki, and it's like, you think that will stop me? And basically, they clash, and the acid hits Madara in six paths form. Now, Madara had insane regeneration, but it was a delayed regeneration. It wasn't like a Wolverine regeneration. It is technically a Wolverine regeneration, but it's not where, upon getting injured, Wolverine instantly starts to heal. That's not the case with Madara's regeneration. When he got injured... He, it was like a, he got so injured against the guy that it took a bit for his um, regeneration to really kick in. 
Um, and we see that a few times. So, so he can, his generation can be overpowered so much that, yeah, it can be, um, ult it ultimately can be, um, overpowered. The question is, is the acid that Minazuki's Bankai creates strong enough to be able to, uh, counteract that level of regeneration? Based on the, uh, based on allegedly what we see from the fight with, um, mean uh from Kempachi and uh, unahana i don't think so i think his regeneration would kick in before he ultimately was killed but i think it would over he'd start to dissolve faster than he'd, he'd like and it's kind of one of those things where it starts to dissolve like his arm starts to go and then it just he reaches a point and it just starts to kind of kick back but it's slow because it's fighting off the acid and naruto's hitting multiple places so he's constantly fighting it off I uses the light fang, dodges that, blocks it with his blade, all that. Um, so yeah, I do think that is there's that scenario, but ultimately, weirdly enough, I uh, I don't see. I, I think I see them both getting eventually beaten down by Madara and nearly killed, but they are um, they they will again get their six path abilities unlocked. And ultimately, uh, Kaguya will show up, create the infant Tsukuyome, Sasuke blocks it, saves their team. Team 7 does what they do. And then the Edo Tensei and everyone gets released. Uh, and really, that's kind of the end of the series. Because they're, they're going to end up beating Kaguya anyway. Uh, there's really nothing that changes that. Uh, hell, any, if anything, Naruto having, again, Minazuki helps. Because Kaguya, as far as I know, doesn't actually have quite that level of regeneration. We never actually saw her have that level of regeneration anyway. Um, so, and maybe he actually is actually able to successfully kill Black Zetsu, for quite frankly, with Miyazuki. But really, that's kind of the end of the series because, yeah, nothing else really changes. Now, one thing I should address is that I never actually address... Someone gets on... I had someone says, why do you bother talking about the pairings if you don't do Boruto? There's no point in it. Well, that's because how, that's how the original Naruto ends is that they're all married with kids, except for Shino, who's single and fine with it. Oh, and Kiba, too. Although he's kind of dating that cat girl. Um, but, yeah, um, they, um, they, they would still, they, honestly, they would still all get married to the people they get married to. The only thing I don't actually ever address, and I actually should, because it technically is canon, is Naruto the last movie, where it was basically, uh, Tonor Tonori? Tonori? Uh, the, the, the Akutsuki who are not even Akutsuki, who was he again? Uh, I think he was an Akutsuki, wasn't he? Uh, or, uh, Otsutsuki, sorry. Uh, Toneri. Neri? Uh, no. Toneri. I think it's, I'm trying to remember how to spell it. Uh, Toneri Otsutsuki. Uh, let me, let, hold on. Um, come on, where is it? Uh, why don't I type in Naruto the last? Uh, eh. Naruto the last movie. Okay, there we go. Uh, now what was that guy's name? Uh, do, 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 do. it's been, okay. Uh, all right, I was, I was a little off at the spelling, but it is a ton, yeah, it's Toneri Otsuki. He is an Otsuki, and he kidnaps Hinata, um, A, to kind of, uh, to, to basically, so he can get the, uh, souped up Byakugan, which the name I can't, uh, uh, the name of it, I actually can't rem remember what it is. Uh, I know it, I do know that it has a, the name specifically, um, let's see, let's see here, uh, ah, Tensen Guy, that was one of his, he took it. He basically steals uh, Hanabi's eyes to create to acquire the Tetsengai, which is basically the uh, the equivalent of the Mangekyo for the Byakugan. Uh, really, I mean, I I say I should address it, but really, there's actually not much that would change in this. In fact, if anything, it goes easier because Sasuke doesn't even feel the need to be out of the village. Um, so that's so this actually goes a lot smoother. And Naruto and Hinata obviously get together. So very nice, very very charming. If you don't like that pairing, well, suck it. Because <laughs> that, that, that pairing happens about 90% of these what-ifs because there's not much that changes 
to change the pairing. Anyway, um, I digress. So I guess we were able to end this in part one. Now, yes, if it felt rushed, I apologize. It's because when there's scenarios that happen that are just going to happen near exact to the original, there's no point in me really going over it again. It's just, I have to summarize it with a little change, given that in this case, Naruto had a sword with him. But that is the end of this particular What If series. We will be starting the next What If series, which I will not be telling you what it is, on um, on Sunday, because that's when the next Naruto What If would be. But thanks for, I already know what it is, by the way. Don't worry about that. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know, and we'll do a review 